We here at Live Streaming Tech are always testing and breaking and trying out various ways to live stream online. So it's no surprise that we finally broke ground with the fine folks over at StreamYard. It is a browser-based live streaming and multi-streaming service. But uh, what are the features and what's the cost? Let's break it on down like this. So first of all, you can get into StreamYard 100% free, pound for pound in all of the different live streaming services we've covered in here before. They have the best free streaming services for what it's worth. There's so many features that they put in the free, it's almost insane. Yes, clinically insane. So through the StreamYard free service, you're gonna get banners, on-screen comments, six on-screen participants. That means you can have up to six of you all on one screen, that's kinda cool. You can get branded colors, you can get green screen removal. So if you've got a green screen background, you don't like a trash background, you can always be able to utilize theirs that's built into the dashboard. You can stream just about anywhere you can imagine. The thing is though, StreamYard's gonna put their branding and a watermark on each one of your live broadcasts because you are doing it for free, but I think that's pretty reasonable. And also they have some streaming limits, so you can only stream so much every month on the free plan. And it's gonna be more than sufficient, I can assure you, unless you're doing 24 hour live streams in that event, you're gonna probably wanna think about one of the upcoming plans here. The StreamYard basic plan is about 20 bucks per month and it's the most popular of all the choices. Now, of course, it has everything inside the free, but what it does include as well is you get the StreamYard branding completely removed. So it's gonna be all about you and all the spotlight's gonna be on you and no one's gonna be like, hey, what's that StreamYard logo up in your corner there? I, I don't know what the heck that is. You get unlimited streaming. I like that. The fact that you can just go 24 hours and just have fun and go buck wild, mm, count me in. And here's the cool thing. You get 10, count them, 10 on-screen participants as opposed to the six that you would normally get through the free plan. That is pretty stellar. You can also upload logos, overlays, backgrounds, and here's the part that I like the best, the custom RTMP. RTMP works like this. They will have avenues that you can shoot out to Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and so much more, but if they don't have that area, you can always be able to get the URL as well as the stream key for wherever it might be, something like, say, Amazon Live, and you can plug that in and stream right from your StreamYard app. You can record up to four hours of streaming content that you can download later and repurpose how you see fit. And last but not least, you can multi-stream up to three different platforms at a time. So you notice we weren't able to multi-stream so much over on the free plan, but here you can definitely do it on the basic plan. Now, here's the top tier one. Take a deep breath. If you don't have deeper pockets, this might hurt a little bit, but if you're a good live streamer that's monetizing in a number of ways, this might make sense for you. It's $39 for the pro plan. Now, it's, it's quite a bit, but hang in there. You get everything we mentioned before. In addition to that, you can record up to eight hours of live streams and export that and repurpose it how you see fit. So that's twice the amount of time versus the last plan. And you can multi-stream up to eight different destinations. I like that. The fact that you can choose all of those is pretty stellar. And you get to stream it full HD, which is 1080p. You're probably saying to yourself, oh no, Dale, I'm gonna be streaming in 480p. It's gonna be full on potato quality. That's okay. On the other plans, you're getting 720p and it'll be plenty resolution. It's not like it's 4K, but it is still doable. But here on the pro plan, you're gonna get what you pay for and that you will get a good quality stream at 1080p. And last but not least, I think this is the cool feature and I think it's the most recent one. It's individual audio recordings. So in the event that you want to repurpose the audio recordings of say some of the guests and yourself and to say a podcast, this is an awesome feature. Let's talk about the pros and cons of StreamYard before we do the final weigh in here and let me know what you think so far. Here's the pros, by far, pound for pound, weighed against any other competitor to StreamYard, the free option is loaded, loaded with stuff. In fact, it would be certifiably insane if you do not 
try out the free plan in some capacity. By the way, we're gonna hook you up with that at the end. They also have a clean user interface with a simple plug and play feel to it. So when you go in there, you don't need to be super tech savvy. If you know how to open up a browser, and pretty much browse around on the internet, then you can definitely do live streaming through StreamYard. And the part that I think resonates the most with me is the fact that it is community centered. The fine folks over at StreamYard treat it like a family and they actually have town hall meetings on a regular basis through various avenues, I believe like Facebook and YouTube and everybody gets together and they talk about StreamYard and some of the features that they're liking, they're disliking, what they're improving, what they're changing and so on and so forth. Now here's the cons to StreamYard, and it's not much to be honest with you. It is a pay to play world, okay? So if you want all the real fancy bells and whistles, you're gonna need to invest at least $20 on the basic plan, especially if you're looking to multi-stream. Initially, you're going to be a little overwhelmed because they do have so much. I mean, gosh, I went through all those little checklist of things. I felt overwhelmed just trying to say it, but that's okay. Take it one bite at a time. You don't need to use all of those features. Just use a few of them at a time and then add some with every live stream you do. As far as other cons on StreamYard, I, that's, that's it. I really, I, I'm at a loss for words at this point because there's not too many bad things about StreamYard. Hey, you can get a 14 day free trial of the pro plan when you visit our link at livestreamingtech.com slash StreamYard. And I think it's important that I bring up something I'm a huge fanboy for. I'm sorry StreamYard to do this to you, but there's this other video right here where we talk more about my favorite live streaming platform and Restream. Find out why I fanboy out for that one so much more. See you in the next video.